England World Cup squad are at Birmingham Airport as they depart for Russia. Boss Gareth Southgate is eager to get England's World Cup bandwagon rolling. The three Lions leave for Russia on Tuesday ahead of next Monday's Group G opener against Tunisia and Volgograd. We're pleased with how preparation has gone up until now. We fly out tomorrow so it'll be good to get on with on with it now, Southgate said. Everybody is looking forward to getting to the first game. England's manager Gareth Southgate prepares to board the plane at Birmingham Airport, ahead of flying out to Russia for the 2018 FIFA World Cup. Press Association Photo Picture Date Tuesday, June 12, 2018 CPA Story Soccer England Photo Credit Should Read Joe Giddens, PA Wire England's bags are loaded to the plane at Birmingham Airport, ahead of the team flying out to Russia for the 2018 FIFA World Cup. Press Association photo, picture date, Tuesday, June 12, 2018. CPA Story Soccer England. Photo credit should read, Joe Giddens, PA Wire Southgate was speaking as he waved off Martin Atkinson from St. George's Park ahead of the Premier League referee's charity bike ride to Russia. He is aiming to raise £60,000 for the Jane Tomlinson Appeal, Yorkshire Young Achievers, St. David's Hospice Care in Newport and the University Hospitals Coventry and Warwickshire Charity. England's manager Gareth Southgate prepares to board the plane at Birmingham Airport, ahead of flying out to Russia for the 2018 FIFA World Cup. Press Association photo, picture date, Tuesday, June 12, 2018. CPA Story Soccer England. Photo credit should read, Joe Giddens, PA Wire The England team bus arrives at Birmingham Airport, ahead of flying out to Russia for the 2018 FIFA World Cup. Press Association photo, picture date, Tuesday, June 12, 2018. CPA Story Soccer England. Photo credit should read, Joe Giddens, PA Wire Atkinson is planning to reach Kaliningrad for England's final group game against Belgium on June 28. Our journey might get just as hard as theirs as we go along, Southgate said. He's a nutter, but we knew that anyway. It's fantastic they are raising money for really good causes. It's going to be a grueling adventure but we're very proud of what they are all doing. England suitcases are loaded onto the plane at Birmingham Airport, Birmingham. Press Association photo. Picture date, Tuesday, June 12, 2018. CPA Story Soccer England Photo credit should read, Joe Giddens, PA Wire England's Marcus Rashford prepares to board the plane at Birmingham Airport, ahead of flying out to Russia for the 2018 FIFA World Cup. Press Association photo, picture date, Tuesday, June 12, 2018. CPA Story Soccer England Photo credit should read, Joe Giddens, PA Wire The Football Association will continue to stage England matches on the road with a September friendly against Switzerland set for Leicester's King Power Stadium. Press Association Sport understands the three Lions will play at the home of the 2015-16 Premier League champions. England fly off to the World Cup on Tuesday having won their final warm-up match 2-0 against Costa Rica at a packed Island Road. England suitcases are loaded onto the plane at Birmingham Airport, Birmingham. Press Association photo, picture date, Tuesday, June 12, 2018. CPA Story Soccer England. Photo credit should read, Joe Giddens, PA Wire now Gareth Southgate side looks set to continue the trend of taking some of their home friendlies away from Wembley. The first post-World Cup fixture will be at the National Stadium as England hosts Spain on September 8 in the newly formed UEFA Nations League. But it is believed a friendly against Switzerland is to be played on September 11 and will be staged at Leicester's 32,300 capacity King Power Stadium. England played 34 consecutive home internationals away from Wembley as the new stadium was constructed, hosted by a number of venues up and down the country over a seven-year period. One of those games, a 2-1 friendly win over Serbia in Montenegro was hosted at Leicester, their first ever international match. Former Liverpool midfielder Danny Murphy picked up nine England caps during his career, all of which came during the time home internationals were played on the road.
Birmingham City confirmed summer tour, and a match in Munich the players enjoyed it when I played, he told Press Association Sport. It is better for the fans and although Wembley is great, it can be lifeless, the atmosphere isn't great. Elland Road, Anfield, St. James's Park, Old Trafford, you name it, it is always rocking. People get excited from that area to go, we saw at Elland Road last week how good it was. I would like to see it come back, staging some England fixtures away from Wembley may also become a necessity if the stadium is purchased by Shahid Khan, the owner of Fulham and the Jacksonville Jaguars made an approach to the FA to buy Wembley and, if a number of NFL matches are to be staged there, it could lead to fixture clashes with England internationals.